Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do the chain link fence. We went ahead and got started. We drilled some holes in a blank piece of wood so that we had somewhere to stick our fence post. After we did that, then we took some gutter guards and we cut them at four foot sections or four inch sections. Okay, so they're four foot in height by the width that they actually come. Now you can um, make this any size you want. It doesn't have to be four foot. Then we spray painted it with some Rust-Oleum paint and it, we did silver because they were just like a um, regular like stainless steel. After that, we put the holes in here with the wood attached into the holes. So you can see it just slides in and out of there. Okay? Then we took some wire, same color, and we wrapped it around two pieces at the same time so that we can continue the pattern all the way down. And this part here is optional. This is just some aluminum tin from a recycled um, lid for like a throwaway disposable tin. And I just wrapped it around the pole and cut it to fit just to give it a little bit more texture. You can kind of see, make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so then the next piece is just to go ahead and attach this onto here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move everything down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've shifted everything left and now I'm going to line these two up and then I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to attach it to them. Kind of like sewing, so don't get discouraged. The thing is, you need to make sure that you're pulling it tight when you're doing it, but not too tight to where you bypass that piece. And sometimes having an extra hand actually helps. And then also, if it's not going in the way you want, I want to show you this. If you're going in this one right here it's going to be further away from the pole so you want to go into this one here or one of the ones that's closer because then it won't line up properly if you don't I can't see with your fingers in the way Okay, now once you have it there, push it back through, and then you're going to twist the two together in the back. Okay, so here's the back side. Make sure you have it nice and tight. Twist them together like this, and then take a pair of pliers, and make sure you give it a nice snug fit. You don't want to make it too tight because you'll snap the wire. Right. Then you want to go ahead and cut it off and then you want to place your top piece on. Okay so one more thing I want to mention before we go any further is we did not drill all the way through to the wood so whatever your depth of your um, doll house is that you're going to actually be drilling into to install this you don't want to go any deeper than that so you want to make sure you stop your drill at that point so when we take them out you have like this little bit here left which is what's going to go down into the wood of the dollhouse so it'll look like it's touching the ground. And then we still have to do the top piece as well. But now that you've seen how to do that, we want to show you the gate. The gate we went ahead and cut some copper wire and we soldered it together on the corner and then spray painted it and then soldered a piece at the top. If you do not know how to solder, you can use some glue that will attach metal or copper or anything like that. E6000 usually works or um, you could try some Loctite super glue. That'll probably work as well. Now to attach this, we're going to go ahead and attach it onto the frame like that using some um, wire and also we're going to put some crazy glue on there. You can wire it until the glue dries. So, But the glue is only going to stick to the paint. If the paint don't 
hold, it, then it's going to come apart. Right. So definitely wire it on there. And we're going to wire it the same exact way we did there. Watch your finger. It's kind of sticky. Still a little tacky. Oops. Use the other pliers, don't worry. Okay, so that's what your gate would look like. Then you can put a crossbar in it, and then you can trim up these pieces that are hanging over on the top. You can just kind of cut them off with the snips or whatever you have. Okay, so that's it with it trimmed up on this side over here. It looks much better now that we've trimmed it. All right. Now for the paint, I used a um, Rust-Oleum that was good for metal and stuff, and it was a silver for here. And then this was a um, metallic um, rustic Rust-Oleum. Okay. So now, if you want your gate to open and close, what you can do is wrap a little bit thicker of wire going around here on the top and bottom and then you want to make it even with the top and bottom of your gate. This is the easiest way to um, do it. You can make a figure S, you can do that and then do double that, but this is like the simplest way to go. After you've done that, then you want to take some of the same wire that we've been using for attaching it to the poles, and then you want to attach it to this wire. And then cut the excess off. And then the cut the excess away. Should put it on the underneath so you don't see it. Okay, do that to the top and bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now once you have this, it should open. Now if you made it a little tight, it might um, take a little time. But so that it doesn't slide off, you can cut this and put a little bend in it or you can um, bend it straight up. I'm gonna cut some of mine off because I don't really want all that excess hanging there. Bend it up and put a wire on it. You'll never come off. Bend it right in there. And then it'll be inside. You might have to touch up your uh, gate if you didn't let it dry all the way. Okay, and then you can move it in if you need to move it in further. Okay, now I'm using a thicker piece of wood for the actual gate itself. Gate. Okay, so once you have your gate where you want it to go on the edge here, take a little piece of wire and wrap it around that part that we bent so that it doesn't come undone. 